beautiful day for a baptism. Like the Ethiopian asks, he says, here's water. Why shouldn't I be baptized? Well, we're going to have a group of Shenandoah Valley Academy students being baptized today. I'm here to celebrate.
Welcome, SVA family. You know, this is an extended family because of all the parents and the relatives that are here for graduation, but it's a perfect time for this baptism. Most of you may not uh, be familiar with how much our church and our school has changed over the years. This is my 35th year, and I want to tell you, from the time that I came here till this year, it's like night and day. Amen. The church resented young people when I first came here, but that changed dramatically, especially after Pastor Shane came and we started the Rock Ministry, and that's been going for how many years? 20? 20. 20 plus. 20 plus. And because of that, because of the church family loving our students, because of faculty and staff loving our students, and I guess I've become more aggressive for the kingdom of God um, because we're getting so close to the end of time. And um, these young people are realizing that. And you're, you're looking at 10 more young people last weekend like we said in church today there were 10 last weekend this is the most young people that have been baptized at the end of the year of any year that i've been here so we need to praise the lord for that it's it's amazing and it's all because god's people are doing what they're supposed to be doing and that is loving each other so i've asked each one of the young people to share a short testimony before we go down into the water and i'm going to start with zayvon here give give them the light after you okay um zayvon was um in my bible studies all year long he's been in my bible classes he wasn't quite sure until about 24 hours ago <laughs> that he was going to take the plunge. And um, it, it's the greatest thing these young people can do before they leave academy is make that decision for Jesus. Amen. So, uh, Zayvon writes, It was through the kindness and faith of my friends, family, and school that I began to understand God's love for me. Their prayers, encouragement, and example showed me the beauty of living a life devoted to Christ. I'm forever grateful for their guidance and confidence and support along my spiritual journey. Today, as I get baptized, I want to declare my love and commitment to God. After being afraid and not feeling worthy enough, I'm ready to follow him wholeheartedly, knowing that with his guidance and love, I will never be alone. Amen. To my family and my friends, my teachers, my SVA community, and all those who played a part in my journey with Jesus, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your love and faithfulness have brought me to this moment, and I will be forever grateful. Amen. <laughs> just, hold, just hold this. Thing. Okay. All right. All right, I'll read from my, uh, my little brother, Mason. Yeah, Mason writes, I was baptized back in 2016. I decided to get baptized again because of some poor choices that I've made. The things that I've done are what drove me to, to decide to get baptized a second time. My life after that got better, but then started to decline, especially during my sophomore year. I did something that I regret, and I had also gotten kicked out of school for three quarters of the year. <laughs> Despite of the things that I did in the past, what baptism really means to me is another chance to rededicate myself to God 
and to better serve him. Amen. Now I'm here today to get baptized yet again. I give thanks to my God, my family, and everyone who was supporting me through the decision. A special thanks to PH, Leaper, Pastor Buzz, and my dad. Amen. 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 I kind of forgot to oh, write. Wow. I kind of forgot to write something, but I do have in mind what I'm gonna say. And I just want to start off by thanking my friends and my family. Um, they've been through a lot with me. Um, my journey with God has been very, very hectic, and I've made a lot of poor decisions <coughs> in the past, but. It was just me trying to learn like what love really is and how God is showing me love. And I feel like I'm finally ready and I finally understand that I might not ever fully understand and grasp his love for me um, or the love that my friends and family have for me. And I, I always felt very unworthy of love um, and now I know that with God I am enough and that I'm Amen. always going to be worthy so mm -hmm. that's why I decided to get baptized today Amen. <laughs> my walk with God has been nothing short of a journey an adventure I want to continue for the rest of my life I was baptized when I was eight. I remember the day clearly because I was so excited to do the cool thing that all my friends and uh, pastors were talking about. I believe that I was too young to understand what it truly meant. All my life, I had learned Christian theory, the what to do, how to pray that Sabbath school and Pathfinders taught me. It wasn't until high school that I realized Christian theory wouldn't be enough. I made my fair share of mistakes and had several encounters with God. They all pointed to the same concept, one that Mr. Leeper taught us our freshman year, faith over feeling. I've learned through the years that simply feeling that God is, is and was good to me wasn't enough. I needed to believe that his grace and goodness were enough for me at all times, not just when the day was sunny. I couldn't think of a better time to recommit my life to Jesus than this one, because even though I'm leaving the school and campus, I want to take everything I learned from here with me. I want to say thank you to Mr. Leeper for always answering my questions. Ms. Wiedemann for encouraging me to question, but also to trust God. PH for always believing me and showing me God's character daily. My friends for encouraging me and giving me the opportunity to worship with them on a daily basis. But most importantly, my parents. Who have prayed for me incessantly and who have placed me in a school where I could learn of God and become closer to him. My testimony today is this. My God is a good God. Amen. He's also a forgiving God. Yes. But over all things, he is a God that never ceases to draw man to himself. Only in God have I found the truth and happiness I never stop searching for. Amen. Amen. Oh, no, 21, 21. <laughs> okay, so standing here next to the river feels unbelievable to me because just a few weeks ago, I was hesitant on whether I should continue with my decision. I'm so glad that the Lord put people in my life to give me a little push. I made the decision to be baptized at the beginning of junior year. That was honestly one of the best decisions I made. But of course, right after, the, the devil decided to work harder. To the open eye, my relationship with God might have looked strong, but behind closed doors, I was fighting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to finish it for me? <laughs> Just stop right there. <laughs> I remember going through sleepless nights doubting God, God's truth, God's truth and love. But even though I was doubting, I was still praying. Although I did not see the impact of my prayers, Today, I can proudly say that God heard my cries. He put people in my life 
who were there to listen, teach, and to help me. Okay, so I could make an endless list of people to thank. PH for pushing me in the Bible studies, Omaris encouraging me. But most importantly, I want to thank my dad. Amen. 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 <laughs> I've never met a man so so God fearing. Anyone, <laughs> anyone who prays for a hobby, prays for the family. No one as selfless. life is far from being perfect my life is full of uncertainties but I've seen God's goodness and I know he has a plan for me today I make a public decision to follow Christ and to surrender my life to him Amen. my spiritual journey has had its share of rough and trying times the greatest spiritual tribulation and growth occurred over the span of high school I started out as uncertain, confused, and guilty in my relationship with God. I felt inferior. I thought I needed to work through my issues before coming to Him. Through the years learning about God's love and forgiveness in religion classes, Bible studies, and especially through my friends and family, I began to see a more accurate picture of God's character. I realized that life is a constant battle, but that Jesus understands each and every struggle and sees each and every tear. Instead of the nagging feeling of guilt and heartache, I learned to hand my struggles over to Him. It wasn't easy, and I know that the war isn't over, but now I know that I have both support from above and from this community. I want to thank my family for loving and guiding me and my friends for giving me a glimpse of God's character, especially Oma and Katie. God knew me before I took my first breath, and I know he will guide me in the future. opportunity to be baptized. Though at the time, it didn't register in my mind how important this decision is, either to God or me. I was happy when I was baptized, but deep down as a kid, I knew I wasn't ready. For so many years after, God has helped me with my, with, with my many decisions. But at some point in, the, in that period, I tried living my life without God. I tried helping myself when it came to trials and only suggested on paths, on paths that I wanted to do but it only brought the worst to me. I wasn't even manipulated to think that God would never help me anymore or, or manipulated to think if he was ever real. I didn't know who I was at that point and became depressed of how far away I was from God. I thought there was no chance for, for me to get back to God. Though as, I had another, though as I had another day in class, in, in the religion class, Paige was teaching my religion class, he, he gave an assignment that will forever change my life. I finally saw who God is and how capable he is to show me his love. God showed me that he is always there, even knowing how stubborn I was to him to reach for his arms. He managed to heal me spiritually and mentally. As I, as I saw the many ch changes about myself, now I want to be, his, to be a daughter to him. That's why today I want to be rebaptized to God through my true decision knowing why and to whom I'll be baptized to. I want to start a new journey of focusing on who God is to me. I want to thank PH, Mr. Leeper, Pastor Buzz, my friends, and especially my mom for helping me along my journey. <coughs> I grew up knowing God through my parents and was involved in church activities like most kids that grow up in the church. I was later encouraged to get baptized and my dad gave me Bible studies. He showed me all of the promises and the truths that are written in his word. I learned that God cares for us and that he is real. However, although I believed in him, I saw him as an impersonal God. 
I knew he was real, but I felt like he wasn't real and present in my life. <clears throat> then I came to SBA. The religion classes with Mr. Lieber and PH, I learned that God is present in my life and that he has unconditional love for me. I realized that God opened the doors for me to come to SBA so I can get to know who he really is. He has shown his never-ending love through the friends that I have made these last four years at SBA. And I thank him every day for putting such wonderful people in my life. I want to specifically thank Esther, Faith, Jonathan, Haley, and Avery for always being there whenever I needed support, time to laugh, and prayer. I love you guys. I also want to thank Mr. Leeper, PH, Ms. Wiedemann, and Ms. Short for also supporting me and guiding me and giving me advice. And lastly, I want to thank my parents for truly showing me what God's love is through their hard work and dedication. I am so grateful that God allowed me to come to SBA so that I can get to know him and realize that he is my God and that he loves me unconditionally. I learned that this life is temporary and that what we do now on this earth doesn't matter in the long run. It's our character that stays with us for eternity. I want to live my life with Jesus as my example. I'm getting rebaptized today to commit to recommit and publicly share that God is a personal God and that he is fighting for us daily. All we have to do is trust. I have a very similar story. I am got baptized when I was nine and I, I only went to one baptismal Bible study. Uh, how many are you supposed to do? <laughs> More than one, I can tell you that. I only went to one. We never scheduled another one. But then I got baptized knowing pretty much nothing about baptism. Then I came here and I learned so, so much. I've learned what it means and why I want to be baptized. And... <laughs> uh, after I came to SVA I just learned so much and I'm so grateful to all of my teachers I started going to the Bible studies um, with PH with Pastor Buzz and learned a lot with Mr. Leeper um, and I really yeah <laughs> um, sophomore year I was in like every Bible study that I could every single day except for like one day a week i was in a bible study every day of the week except for one and i was learning so much but then junior year i didn't really have as much time and every single year at the end of the year i wanted to be baptized but i was not ready i did not feel ready at all and then this year i've had no time at all to be in any bible studies i've been to like maybe one or two throughout the whole year but I have been in class and I've loved it. And I actually, PH the other day was like, hey, I see that you've been wanting to be baptized. I was like, yes. <laughs> so I'm very excited to truly dedicate my life to Christ, knowing what it means. And yeah. <laughs> It's my turn for a testimony. In 2021, I got very sick. And it was a COVID that hit me. I didn't get out of the hospital until June 23rd. The school year started. And Alex was assigned to me with Partnership for Eternity. And he came to my house, I think it was one day a week, and helped me. And it was his encouragement I was able to regain my fine motor skills. We would study the Bible together. And Alex, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. You were part of that therapy process that brought me back today as I'm here. Amen. Amen. not even through my music. I can only get that through God. Through the Bible studies I've had with PH and a few have had with Mr. Leeper, 
I've come to know that God is truly, truly a God of love. He's truly a God who comes to us when we are in our deepest places. I've known that Jesus is the Prince of Peace, and He um, fills my life and accepts me for a purpose, and that is to serve and love Him. Um, many of you know that these past two years have been really, really hard for me and my family. Um, my dad has suffered a lot with his health, and in return, our family has suffered a lot. And that took a really, really big turn on my spiritual faith and my mental health, but most importantly, my relationship with God. But I did not give up, and I did not accept that God wanted us to stay in this place. I knew that God was a God of love, as I learned freshman year from Mr. Leeper's religion class, and this was not how he had meant it to be. And through faith and through Bible study, I've come to know that God does not leave us in the dirt by ourselves. He comes and he sits next to us and waits for us to come out. And he has brought me out from the worst places that I've ever been. He strategically placed people in my life to really, really show God's love. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank her so much. I want to thank her so much for showing me that the Lord is my strength and that through faith in Him, anything is possible. I want to thank um, Sandra Clatterbuck. I'm not sure if she's here, but if you see her, say hi to her. I want to thank her so much for showing me that even though people leave, God is always there for you. He will always pick you back up. Always. And I want to thank Mr. Lieber for taking the time to talk to freshman Ariana who is angry and mad at God for everything that was happening in my life. And talk about the beauty of the Sabbath and show me what the true love truly is. I, today I really, really want to surrender my life to God. And I know it's not going to be easy. I know after this day, all ten of us, it's going to be even harder. Because the devil likes to prey on us when we decide we want to take a leap of faith for Jesus. But I know I have my Heavenly Father in Heaven. And He knows who I am and I know who He is. He is going to feed all of us. Amen. Amen. Before we uh, go down into the water, a quote from the prophet comes to mind. Our testimony is God's chosen agency for revealing him to the world. And I hope that you've heard today how much Christian education has played a part in bringing young people to know and love Jesus. And the word needs to get out that SVA is a place where your young person can come to know Jesus and truly be converted and become a missionary. I think every single one of these young people right here have been on the mission trip and who knows what their future holds so uh, we're going to have a prayer now and then we're going to go into the water and baptize these young people let's pray our loving heavenly father we know that it is not by might or by power but by your spirit that our hearts are changed. And we thank you for the work of your Holy Spirit, not only in the lives of these young people, but in the lives of the church members, the faculty and staff, friends and family, all of who played a part in bringing these beautiful young people to make this decision today. And Lord, I pray that many more will be influenced as a result of their testimony and their influence. Lord, we know that you're coming soon, and we want to help others to know you like we know you. And so bless each one of these young people, I pray, with your Holy Spirit, even as you received the Holy Spirit when you came up out of the waters. Thank you, Jesus, for the promise of your Holy Spirit 
on each one of these young people right now. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 One more thought. Some people might be thinking, ooh, that looks like a dirty river. Um, you know, that's what uh, Naaman thought when Elijah told him, go wash seven times in the Jordan. And he said, we've got beautiful rivers back home. Why should I wash in that muddy river? Well, he came out clean. So baptism is a form of cleansing, but it's not a miracle worker. Uh, it's a commitment. It's like a baptism to Jesus. When we come up out of the water, we rise to walk in newness of life. But it's a daily choice, just like it is in a marriage, to be faithful to your partner and to love each other and to grow with each other. Uh, so as we go down into the water, Pastor Buzz, you can lead us in some music, but eventually you're coming in to baptize one of them. So. Hand and wave it. Love you guys. Love you, guys. Mason. Because of your commitment to Jesus, and in the presence of this, your family, immediate family, and your church family, because of the commitment that you've made, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, Zavon, if your family of Zavon, raise your hands. All right. And Zavon, because of this decision, you've made one of the wisest decisions of your life to follow Jesus for the rest of your life. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Influence in your lifetime. So because of your commitment, Raquel, to follow Jesus for the rest of your life, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, Emma, because of your decision to follow Jesus for the rest of your life and be a witness for him, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Emma, because of your decision to follow Jesus for the rest of your life and be a witness for him, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 May loom tall in front of us. But God mm. always gives us a stone. Amen. So Amen. her stone was SDA family and her church family and her immediate family that have helped her to face the giant in her life. So, Ariana, because of your decision to follow Jesus for the rest of your life and be a witness for him, both verbally and through your music, which is so wonderful, <coughs> I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I have appreciated so much your helpful ways, your loving heart. There's no doubt in my mind that you want to serve Jesus. We've talked about it. We've done it together. And because that's your desire to follow him with your heart, with your whole body, with your soul and mind, I come to the privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Amen.